at the Adventure Webinar today. Um, I would like to thank our two speakers here. We've got Melanie and Julie. Melanie, do you want to tell us who you are, where you're from, and what your prize is today, please? Yes. Um, hi, thank you, and delighted to be here, and great to see everyone uh, coming in and joining us from so many different locations. So I am here on behalf of Acacia Safaris, so we're based in East Africa, and I have a £50 Amazon voucher that I'll be giving out afterwards. Super, thank you very much. And we've also got Julie, and it's Julie's first time in doing a webinar with us, so welcome Julie. Um, tell us who you are, Julie, and where you're from, etc. Hi Sarah, hi everybody, thanks for joining us today. I work for Bespoke Earth, which is the representation company for um, properties in Southern Africa. So we look after Victoria Falls River Lodge, which is what I'm going to be talking about today, Shamwari Private Game Reserve, Jackie's Lodges, the President Hotel and Fan Court in George. Super, thank you. And your price today? And our is... price today will be a £50 Amazon voucher as well. Super, thank you. And we have also got um, Visit Rwanda. I have got a presentation that's been pre-recorded. Unfortunately, they weren't, they, weren't unable, they weren't able to get onto the call. So if you bear with me, I'm going to share the presentation for you now. There we go. Hi everyone, my name is Katie Smith and I am the Senior Account Manager for Visit Rwanda in the UK and So today I'm really excited to show you Rwanda's adventure highlights. So our adventure begins by flying from London Heathrow to Kigali, which takes around eight and a half hours on our national carrier Rwanda Air. And Rwanda are currently flying four times a week direct to Kigali. And we also have other carriers that your clients can get to Kigali to, such as Rwanda, such as Qatar Airways and KLM. Now, Rwanda is fast becoming one of the top destinations to get that full African experience. So at, at top of everyone's bucket list is trekking through Vekanes National Park to see the gorillas in the north. But there's so much more to uncover and I'm excited to showcase that to you today. So head to the east to witness the big five in the wild, travel south for an adventurous hiking or waterfalls or canopy walkway before heading west for a cycling or kayak adventure. So we are going to start our adventure journey in Akagera National Park, which is around a three hour drive from Rwanda's capital, Kigali, which is where your customers will fly into. So visitors can start their Rwandan adventure by embarking on a game drive to see the Big Five, which consists of lions, leopards, rhinos, elephants, and the African buffalo. So for around 50 US dollars for a permit to enter the park, and there your guests can experience a variety of adventurous game experiences. Half drives are from 6.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. in the morning, and 12 to 5 p.m. in the afternoon. And for those that are looking for that really adventurous full day experience, um, a full day drive lasts from 6.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. And I would also recommend a boat trip on Lake Ahima, which is also a highlight of any visit to Akagera National Park. So there your guests can experience large pods of hippos, Nile crocodiles, and an abundance of wild birds on the island located in the middle of the lake. So for those that are looking for a restful place to stay after their adventure in the park, Magashi Safari Park is located far north of Akagera National Park with eight spacious tented suites. So the camp opened in early 2019 and aims at providing high-end luxury accommodation in a scenic safari area. And it's the only accommodation facility that's located in the northern part of the park um, and is accessible via a shuttle service from Kigali or by helicopter transfer. So it's a beautiful option for those high-end clients. So next we'll drive via Kigali and travel to Lake Kivu, which is around three hours, 30 minute drive to admire the stunning lake shores to go hiking or cycling. 
So our land of a thousand hills is an excellent destination for off the beaten track cycling with almost endless trails and roads crisscrossing the territory. So exploring Rwanda's countryside on a bike is a authentic and rewarding way to interact with the rural population with a huge dose of natural beauty. So arguably the greatest route is the Congo Nard Road. So this is a 220 seven kilometer itinerary which runs roughly parallel to the eastern shores of lake kubi so your clients can enjoy hiking um, and this can take up to 10 days and starts by the gorillas in and ends with the chimps so it's a great opportunity to see our beautiful wildlife so and for those that are interested in cycling the journey takes about five days although it is possible to do it in single stages for those that have less time or they have um, less dedication to do the longer five days. So now we are still in Lake Kivu as we explore one of the African's greatest lakes on the water with a kayak. So exploring the coastline of Lake Kivu on the west of Rwanda by kayak is a, is a really wonderful way to immerse yourself in the scenery. So you gaze up at the mountain backdrop from the Quen tranquility of the water so it's a, a one I would recommend for your clients uh, so the water temperature ranges from 23 to 27 celsius throughout the year and it's a clean clear lake with irregular shorelines with plenty of sandy beaches as you can see here in this photo and there's no hippos or crocodiles in these waters so it makes for safe paddling and we have DMCs in Rwanda that can help organize these all activities and nestled on a hill is Lake is Clio Hotel. So it offers a breathtaking and panoramic view overlooking Lake Kivu. So they have luxury suites, farm to table restaurants, numerous activities, including relaxing, relaxing spa treatments. And it's a short drive to many tourist destinations. And they can organize a beautiful coffee experience where you learn about the cultivation of coffee in Rwanda. So very excitingly, from the 26th of May 2023, all tourists, including children over five years, visiting any of the national parks in Rwanda will no longer be required to undergo COVID-19 testing. But those visiting our primates must still wear a face mask. So Rwanda's epic scenery, pleasant climate and magnificent wildlife make the land a remarkable place to explore on foot. So the best hiking is to be had in the western half of the country, all the way from Volcanoes National Park in the north, along the fringes of Lake Kivu in the, in the west, as we just discovered, and down to Nongwe National Park in the south. So there are six hiking trails that we recommend, um, and these can be found on our Visit Rwanda website, which I will share with you at the end of this webinar. So transfer from Kigali to Vakanias National Park is around 2 hours 30 minutes um, and the permits for gorilla trekking cost around $1,500 with 10% going back directly to the local community. So one of the better known regions of Rwanda, Vakanias National Park is where you will see the gorillas and the golden monkeys. So permits need to be booked in advance and guests will meet their guide in the morning to understand their level of the trek, which is also determined how long you want to trek for. So your guests can trek for 30 minutes to over four hours to up to nine hours for that permit um, trekking day. So it just depends on the ability of your client, but also their time as well. So there are eight people in a group and 96 permits are issued per day. And that's really to conserve the number of people interacting with the gorillas. So you'll meet with your guide and understand how we interact with the gorillas. And um, they are very, very experienced guide. And we also have porters available to help you with the trek and to carry your bags. So once you trek up the mountain, you have one hour with these magnificent gorillas. And the best time to go is June to October and December to March. And for those that are looking for just that hiking option without the gorillas, visitors can hike up Mount Bosoke. So this is a dormant volcano with a massive crater lake at its peak, measuring around 400 metres in diameter. So it's a really popular trail that we have on our website. 
Again, once you've had an adventurous day, it's a perfect excuse to relax in a luxury lodge that um, is on the lower slopes of Bisaki Volcano. And Bisaki Lodge has six ensuite forest villas, and you can see it's very um, excluded and very luxury, as you can see in this photo here. So now we're going to head on a hiking adventure in Nungwe National Park. So one of the main highlights of visiting Nungwe National Park is the opportunity to hike and observe wild chimpanzees in their natural habitat. With the experienced guides again leading you the way, then visitors can embark on a thrilling adventure through the forest, listening for the sounds and clues that lead to the whereabouts of the chimpanzees. For those seeking a unique and exhilarating experience, the Canapé Walk in Nungwe National Park offers un an unparalleled perspective of the rainforest. So suspended high above the canopy floor, the Canapé Walkway consists of a, a series of suspended bridges and platforms that provide views unlike I've ever seen before. Um, so I have done this myself and it is a really exciting, adventurous experience. And you get a different perspective as well, which is perfect for that park. So again, situated in the heart of Nungwe Forest is um, Kimberwanzu Swamp. So this is where you have a waterfall trek. Um, so it's roughly, it's put into two parts and it's roughly around 50 meters with a permanent mist, while the other one falls creating a pool after, as you see here. And again, I've personally embarked on this hike down the waterfall and I'd recommend adding this to your client's adventure itinerary. It's great um, to go into the waterfall after, into the shores below, and it is cold but rewarding after that trek down. Now, a property that we have in Nungwe National Park is one and only Nungwe House. So this is a luxury um, property with villas, suites and rooms and a signature um, experiences from um, learning about tea, the African tea, um, to helping plant trees for the local community as well. So again, it's a perfect way to relax after a day of trekking and hiking and the perfect way to end a Rwandan adventure holiday. Thank you so much for your time today and I've included my email address here for you. If you or your clients have any questions, I would be more than happy to help. Thank you again for your time. We hope to welcome your clients to Rwanda soon. Thank you. Oh, thanks, Katie. That was a fantastic presentation. So um, if you do have any questions for Katie, um, drop her an email. I will send a follow up uh, with everything, uh, with all the contact details of everybody. So let, let her know any questions. Um, OK, so we're now moving on to Julie. Julie, the stage is yours. Over to you. You need to unmute first. There we go. There we go. <laughs> and let's get the screen share. So today we're going to take a look. Have we got a full screen there, Sarah? Um, no, we need to put it into the presenter mode. Right, let's... Sorry, I'm just trying to find the presenter. Having found it when custom slideshow, the third one right. in from there the top, and then you just um yeah, custom settings. Oh, hang on, that's not working either. No. Uh, from, do, do from beginning. What we did last time is from I think from beginning and then up here. You, you oh, there your, we go. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's it. Okay, so today we're gonna take a look at Victoria Falls River Lodge, which obviously is that on full share now? Yeah, it's skipped off again. <laughs> oh. Um, from beginning. From current slideshow. Display setting. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> so today we're going to look at the Victoria Falls River Lodge, obviously located at Victoria Falls in Zimbabwe. And the... One of the big draw cards for this particular lodge is not only do you get to see the falls, but you're also able to participate in water and land-based safaris. 
So there's a number of properties um, available in terms of accommodation. We've got the um, luxury tented suites based on the banks of the river. So you can just make out on the edge of the river the accommodation here. Each of the um, luxury suites have their own deck, their own plunge pool. Um, they are not uh, your normal tents and very much um, in the style of glamping. Um, beautiful outdoor and indoor bathroom on suites, etc. And then we have accommodation on the island treehouse suites. The island is obviously a short boat ride from the shore to, across to the island. There is a boat constantly moored um, at the island, so your guests can move between the island and the mainland. They don't get abandoned on the island and picked up at the, um, the end of their stay. Um, there is also now, um, thanks to the multi-generational travel that seems to have come out of COVID, um, a number of um, private use villas which have been um, put in to place on the um, property as well. But in terms of its location, most of your clients would probably use it as an extension um, from Johannesburg going up to Victoria Falls, which is just under a two hour flight. But there are direct flights um, via Ethiopian Airlines and also um, Emirates, which will take you directly into Victoria Falls. So from the airport to the lodge is about a 25 minute drive and boat trip. So the lodge is located about eight kilometers um, away from the actual falls. You can actually see the spray of the Victoria Falls from the accommodation at the lodge. So you'll be picked up at the airport. All of your transfers and your activities are included in your stay at Victoria Falls River Lodge. So they would meet your clients on arrival at the airport, transfer them um, by road to the jetty. Um, the jetty welcome staff will then assist them onto the boat and you take a short transfer from the arrival jetty down to the lodges. The nice thing about this is you basically start your game viewing safari um, instantly. Once you're on the boat, um, your guide will take you along the river and if there's any Thing of interest, they will obviously take you to the shore. You can have a look. I was there three weeks ago, and in the middle of the day, we had a pod of about 20 hippo that were actually out of the water, which is extremely unusual. So having advised the lodge that we were sort of a few minutes away, we ended up about 15 minutes late on arrival, simply because the guide had taken us to have a look at the, the hippo on the banks. So it, it's a really nice way to arrive um, at the lodge. You're welcomed, taken up to your rooms. There is basically it's luxury under canvas. So this gives you an idea of the lead in rooms at the um, River Lodge. All of them are equipped with their own lounge, indoor, outdoor bathrooms. Some of the suites are also set up to accommodate children um, in their own separate bedroom alcove. The rooms can be made up in either twin or um, king size configuration. The Rapids View Villa, which has now opened, um, is a private villa located um, just up short, upstream from the um, River Lodge. It has two family suites um, and it can basically take four adults and between four and six children. Um, when I was there, a family had occupied it, having just come from South Africa on safari. They arrived and basically decided that they didn't want to participate in any activities because their accommodation was just so comfortable and sublime, as they put it, that they um, decided not to actually do any activities um, for the two days that they were there. The Private villas all come with their own butler service. So you, your Rapids View Villa and the Hippo Creek Villa both have their own butler, their own game um, viewing activities and their own private chef. All of the accommodation include a private tour of the falls. So your activities at the lodge, basically, you have your morning activity where you have the option of um, 
going either on a game drive, which is a land-based game drive. So you would leave it between 6 and 6.30, um, board the vehicle, go out on a two to three hour game drive, stopping for your morning coffee um, at one of the scenic spots in the reserve. The property is located in the Zambezi National Park, which is a government owned and operated park. So they have um, concessions to traverse the area. They have four of the big five at the moment with the intention of putting Rhino onto the property um, in the next 18 months. So your morning safari, either land-based or you can go out by boat and they will take you out onto the Zambezi River. Um, and again, you would spend uh, time basically traversing the shores, watching for crocodiles, hippos, elephants coming down to the water, your general game, etc. The spa activities are available for all of the lodges, so both River Lodge, Tree Lodge, as well as the exclusive use villas. And additional activities that you can arrange are bushwalks with a ranger, as well as fishing excursions. The activities that are included with the accommodation rates include your transfers to and from the airport. It also includes a daily option of going into Victoria Falls town. So a transfer leaves at 10 a.m. That will take you into the town where you can um, visit the local craft markets, uh, do a little bit of shopping. There is also the option of a private guided tour of Victoria Falls. They take you into the rainforest. The entrance fee is not included in the excursion. Um, the entrance fee for the rainforest is now currently 50 US dollars per person, but your transport and your guide, et cetera, is all included in your accommodation. Obviously your accommodation is um, all inclusive in terms of your meals, as well as your drinks. That gives you a bird's eye view of the island and you can see the boats um, that are located there for clients. Clients located on the island can move over to the um, mainland and participate in activities, et cetera, um, from the mainland. They can also make use of the restaurant facilities there, but obviously people on the mainland can't traverse across to the island and make use of the island treehouse facilities. That gives you an idea of the treehouse that um, you would be staying in on the island. All of them are based on a platform on stilts, so it gives you a nice um, visual over the Zambezi. And two of the six suites actually have star beds. So you can see at the platform on the top here, there's a mosquito net covered um, bed, and that is an option for clients as well. So there's four treehouse suites without the star beds and two with. Treehouse suites don't permit children, so there's no children permitted on the island. All with their own private decks and plunge pools. And again, the activities that are included um, are exactly the same as the River Lodge. Some of the um, activities that you will find included um, in terms of your meals, obviously all your meals are included, but they do make an effort to set up meals um, out in the bush for you, um, breakfast, bush breakfasts, um, dinners, etc. This gives you an idea of the type of boat that's used um, on the Zambezi. Most of the hotels in the area, whether it's in Zambia or on the Zimbabwean side of the falls, utilize scheduled boat services, which are quite large boats where you'll have multiple groups, people from different hotels, etc. The nice thing with the river cruises from um, Victoria Falls River Lodge is the fact that small boats are used. So these boats are used for the transfer from the jetty to the actual lodge. They're also used for the morning and afternoon sunrise, sunset game um, viewing cruises. They're nice shallow bottomed boats, which means that you're not basically stuck in the main um, river area. You can go off into the smaller tributaries, which are quieter. There's a lot less boating activity in, this, in the shallow drafts. So it does give you a more intimate, more exclusive feel um, to the experience. That just gives you an aerial view of the falls when it's in flood. 
this particular bridge here is where your clients can participate in bungee jumping. So they have the bungee jump and they also have a gorge swing, which operates from that particular railway bridge. In terms of children's activities, if there are children staying on the um, River Lodge property, they would also be taken out on the game drives and the sunset or sunrise cruises. But the rangers will also take them out on bushwalks and basically do conservation or ecology led activities with children, um, teaching them more about um, the insects, the smaller animals, etc. And then just to give you an idea of the adventure activities that are available from the lodge, these would be booked separately, there would be an additional charge. So you have the flight of the angels, which can be done either by helicopter. Um, it can also be done by paragliders. Um, you've got the gorge swing and the bungee jumping, whitewater rafting. Um, and then there is the pool, which the catacomb um, pool on the edge of the falls, where your clients are taken with a guide and they can literally sit in a rock pool on the very edge of the falls. Um, needless to say, you've got to be fairly brave, I think, to be doing that one. But that gives you um, an idea of the activities that are available from the falls. That's uh, Victoria Falls River Lodge for you. Thank you very much. I'm loving the um the the one the beds in this in the looking at the stars star beds. Do you get wet? Yeah, like um, it's, it's obviously not advisable to sleep out there when it's raining. Uh, <laughs> they don't like <laughs> to sleep out there when it's raining, obviously. But no, they they are an amazing experience. I was there, as I say, three weeks ago, and um, the weather was perfect. Um, and I actually had one night where I basically could sleep out, um, and I spent one night in one of the private villas as well um, because the property was full and they said oh we need to move you out of one of your tents to the private villa and they moved me into okay. a villa all on my own a ten, <laughs> it could accommodate 10 people and I had my own butler my own chef and my own ranger and all I wanted was company <laughs> oh bless you, bless you. You, could have, you could have took any of us with you we, we would have been very happy um, well, some of the other guests volunteered to come and join me <laughs> I don't well yeah exactly let's have a party in the villa um another question for you sorry this is coming from me um what about mosquitoes do you have nets covering the bed to yeah. stop them so from all in? of the beds are covered for mosquitoes um there is also air conditioning and heating um available in the rooms as well because believe it or not it can get chilly in the evenings in the winter I know everybody yeah. thinks Africa is permanently hot but we do have moments where it is cold overnight as well but yes there are mosquitoes um, nets on the bed and they also provide um, the mosquito repellent sprays etc super thank you very much okay so um, we're now leaving and we're going to Melanie so Melanie over to you great let me share my screen I'm delighted to be here and Julie those those properties look great they, I, I, you know, you're not supposed to have a favourite child, but <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, can you see my screen? Yeah, all good. Great. So I am going to be talking about Acacia Safaris. So we are based in East Africa, operating in Uganda, Rwanda, Kenya, and Tanzania. So let me just move this out of the way. Oops, one second. So. We have over 22 years of experience um, and we can, we're basically experts. So we can kind of tailor make programs um, with you know, several options depending. Obviously we're talking about adventure here today and some people are more adventurous than others and even going to Africa for many will be an adventure in itself. So certainly we can tailor you know, depending on you know, what clients want. Um, and obviously we offer security, peace of mind, having that experience um, and offering kind of tailor-made solutions. Um, we have guided tours that um, can assist in French, Spanish, German, and Italian. So which countries do we operate in? That's not a trick question, I did just mention that. Just seeing if you're listening, I know some of you it's early morning, depending on where you are. So Uganda, Tanzania, Rwanda, and Kenya. We also have two of our own lodges in Uganda, 
Um, and, you know, so I'll show you a little bit more about them uh, shortly. But, you know, depending on the budget, we can really tailor make, but we would generally err towards four and five star um, accommodation. We like to, you know, give a certain level of, of security and service. Um, and obviously we look for sustainability wherever we can. And we do a lot with community kind of outreach and impact as well. And certainly that's something that um, we're seeing kind of come up as, as requests, you know, um, and I'll tell you a little bit more about that as I go through the presentation. So safaris in Rwanda, I think we had just had a really good uh, induction into that, more than an induction there with Visit Rwanda. So certainly um, I won't spend too long on this, but any of, you know, the... The kind of items that they showed there on itineraries, as well as the accommodation, we could certainly help with that. So, um, you know, by, by speaking to us, you could actually do anything that was described on the in the presentation beforehand. Um, and then just, you know, obviously, depending, um, as Julie mentioned as well, you know, since COVID times, we do have multi-generational um, you know, people coming on trips and I think like across Africa, you know, this is something that for many people, they've always wanted to do a trip to Africa, they've always wanted to see gorillas. So whether that be Rwanda, Uganda, um, it's massive on bucket lists, but just to bear in mind that for gorilla trekking, um, it's generally 15 years old. So just for some of the families um, that might be attending, um, a, you know, a special trip um, with us. Safaris in Kenya. Um, for many people, this is going to be a highlight, um, seeing the big five that, you know, people would like to see when they come to Africa. So lions, leopards, elephants, buffaloes and rhinos. And then obviously, you know, the world of beast and migration is something that really, for many people, going to Masai Mara and witnessing this is something that they would love to do. So um, generally, that would be kind of June through September, I would say July and August would be the kind of the peak time there. Um, so um, going into October, um, millions of these amazing creatures, um, you know, there. So it's really that is a bucket list between that and I'd say kind of seeing gorillas as well. So Tanzania. Um, so here we go, you know, we can take uh, to the northern part of the country. So we've got the Serengeti National Park. Um, and again, you've got millions of animals that you can see there migrating um, from the Serengeti Park. Um, to the River Mara and the Masai Mara Park into Kenya. So comfortable weather, unparalleled scenic beauties with roads that run through it. Uh, we've got campgrounds, lodges. So depending on the experience, you know, you get luxury camp. You've also got the lodges. Um, some people, you know, it, it really depends and we can kind of certainly tailor make that. Um, and you're going to be seeing flamingos, giraffes, wild dogs, lions, zebras, um, elephants, wildebeest, vultures. Uh, lions, uh, a whole host of the animal kind of kingdom that you'll see. Um, and then obviously a lot of people would like to kind of combine this with Zanzibar, um, you know, as a kind of, you know, you've got the safari and you've got the beach options, which is really popular. And that's also popular for, you know, um, for many people kind of doing honeymoons. Um, and when I was in Uganda recently, there was someone there doing Zanzibar with Uganda. So all of this is kind of, um, you know, possible. So Uganda, is uh, where we're located, but we operate across um, the four countries. And um, many of you may know that it's also known as the Pearl of Africa. It's a really, really beautiful country. And I think um, I went, I did a trip not too long ago on a farm trip. So that's me there um, with some of the attendees of the farm. It was absolutely breathtaking. Um, so such a beautiful country, so green, so verdant. We had um, great kind of, you know, impact, uh, like, you know, outreach with the community, which was really quite touching. And I think it makes you kind of think about life and, you know, how lucky we are in, in the Western world. Um, and then you've got the beautiful kind of country and then you've got memorable experiences seeing some of the, you know, the, the nature in its own inhabitats that you might see and, you know, gorilla trekking definitely was a massive highlight. So on this particular trip, um, we did gorilla trekking in Bwindi. I'm going to show a little video afterwards um, in Bwindi in Penetral impenetrable forest. We did community walk, canoe experience on Lake Mutanda. Um, we saw lions and we did a game drive in Ishasha, boat cruise on the Kazinga channel and we also uh, we flew to Kisora. So even that flight, the uh, image there on the bottom here was absolutely amazing. It took about an hour um, and really quite kind of stunning views from there. So breathtaking. 
Okay, I'm going to show a little video now, but this is, this is, we put it together after the fan, but it just shows you, this is what we experienced. And, you know, it was absolutely, I think everyone that attended really loved this. And we had someone that wrote a piece for Charitable Travel um, after her experience of coming on the fan, which is a great introduction as well. <laughs> So um, a really amazing experience. And that's literally just a little reel that we put together from literally from my iPhone. So um, but obviously you can take, you know, whatever cameras and get absolutely amazing, um, you know, kind of memories to take home. Um, so Bakuba Safari Lodge is one of the lodges that we own. And this is just on the eastern bank of the Albert Nile in Murchison Falls National Park. So overlooking the River Nile, absolutely amazing views. The lodge has panoram panoramic views of the mighty river. Um, and then you've got the chance to see giraffes, elephants, antelopes, and occasionally leopards too. So really beautiful. Um, 41 bedrooms, up to 82 people can be accommodated here. Um, and we can, you know, for, for certain markets that look for, um, you know, buyouts, and we have had that in the past, uh, whether that would be, you know, for weddings, for, for mice groups, um, we can accommodate that. We have single, double family rooms, all en suite. Um, you know, people often think of coming with their loved ones or families, but you can come, you know, and do um, a bespoke tour with us. I was quoting, we were quoting for someone last week who wanted to come for a four day, um, you know, trip to Uganda. So equally, uh, in whichever country that we operate, we can accommodate, um, you know, single travellers as well as small groups. Um, so coming here, you would get a chance to do wildlife game drives, and you can also do nocturnal game drives as well, so you don't miss a moment. Um, Mapoga Safari Lodge is another of our lodges. So this is in Lake Muburo National Park, so Western Uganda. We have 16 rooms here. It's a converted farmhouse. Um, so, you know, you get to see the animals from Lake Muburo National Park on your doorstep. You've got zebras, buffaloes, antelopes, and then sometimes you'll see a hyena coming into Saltwell there as well. Um, so we've got, you know, camping just there. Um, and we've got the kind of the mix between both cultural and the modern world. Um, we have two private luxurious grass tax cottages with two rooms each, um, you know, with everything that you would expect to have. And that just gives an amazing view over the park. I can send uh, more details of both of these lodges, um, but just to give you an idea of the lodges that we have. And then obviously we work with partners um, in country as well. So family friendly safari adventures. And, you know, this is the kind of the bucket list The you know, during COVID, people kind of really thought, what do we want to do? What can we, some people save money during that time to do more memory you know really like having had that time where you couldn't travel um inspiration to travel became kind of more prevalent and people really started planning what they wanted to do and we're seeing that you know in in the kind of requests that we're getting so certainly you could do a family safari um and it would be something that once in a lifetime you can you can learn so much about nature about the animals about how they live you know things like we went to a coffee plantation uh, on the farm trip so there you saw someone in the video before tossing the coffee beans but you see everything from you know, like how the you know the the cultivation is um you know everything there that supports the community from you know building uh, people that work on on the farm to uh planting to harvesting to roasting to trying the different kind of coffees there so that's just one thing you might be looking you know um children might be playing with like you know the dung and looking at kind of animal droppings and doing nature trails so depending what it is it can be quite intrepid and it's definitely an adventure 
Um, so, and you get to know about local cultures too, and we certainly have that integrated into our um, itineraries. So just recently we had someone, we helped her, and I'm just kind of highlighting some of the clips that she did because it was really recent. She came um, and she is um, programming some tours um, and we helped her with planning all of that um, into Kenya. And so her children absolutely loved it. She had great content. And you know, this is the type of thing that you would take away. Um, she had 30,000 uh, people following her on Instagram and really engaged, um, you know, kind of feedback from the trip that she did with us recently. So gorilla trekking, um, this is obviously, it is a bucket list thing that people would like to do. And some people are less, uh, you know, have less mobility than others, and we can certainly cater for that. So I think people don't often know that, you know, we can help with that as well. So depending on the fitness abilities, you know, because if you are doing really trekking, um, you know, you might be trekking for an hour, you could be trekking for two, three, depending. Um, we, we always have, and we work, you know, with great, um, guides locally who will be going ahead and seeing where the gorilla families are um, as they kind of like wander and they, they move kind of every night but you know and so you might not know until the day if you're going to be one one hour two hours three hours whatever it might be so having guides and porters but also having an option here where people could actually be carried to see this amazing site of, of gorillas is something that you know we like to let people know and, and so that they can plan these like memorable once in a lifetime trips Honeymoons, and that's the other thing that, you know, I think we're seeing more of um, is that people are being a bit more intrepid now post COVID and looking for things that really stand out. So when I was in Uganda in November, I met two people that were on honeymoons there. So we had a couple from the US, I met a couple from the UK as well, um, who were just traveling around and it was kind of a lifetime, you know, something they really wanted to do and they wanted their honeymoon to be memorable. And then obviously you've got the option of, of going to do something a bit intrepid, a bit adventurous, and then matching it with, you know, maybe, um, you know, some downtime afterwards. Um, so um, then we've got different itineraries. So you've got, um, this is a sample of Rwanda itineraries, but clearly, um, we have uh, Kenya, Rwanda, Tanzania, and then I'm just going to quickly play this memorable moment as well. And that is one. So that is literally live views from a lodge that we made in. And then this is another one. Great soundbite here. <laughs> So this, there are lots of different here. They're very different from the first one. And this is how you can contact us, and we can give you loads of information, images, itineraries, and so forth. So that is my presentation. Wow, you left on a good note there, Melanie. <laughs> Got lots of uh, smiley faces. Um, yeah, wow, an incredible option as well. Um, Julie, there's a question in chat for you um, from Marguerite, and it was about um, Victoria Falls lodges. Are they all inclusive? Yes, they are. So Victoria Falls River Lodge, irrelevant of which property you stay at, it includes your transfers, your sightseeing, um, as well as your meals and your um, alcohol or beverages excluding your premium drinks but it is an all-inclusive experience okay super um bonnie had asked about the oh um which suppliers can you book the uh both with um so julie has answered about the uh victoria falls lodge which, which can be booked via most four operators alternatively directly uh, melanie it was also for you as well acacia safaris who yeah. could you book through we will be going live soon with major travel. We're quite new into the market. We've been working more B2C in the past, we're now B2B. And so this will be uh, the first supplier that we work with, um, but we are in talks with others as well. Super, thank you very much. Um, Bonnie's asked, is there a minimum age for the family friendly safaris and the children going on the game drives? No, there isn't. It's just more the gorilla parks. And um, I can certainly put through, um, I'll add a slide uh to my presentation on ages for that as well just so you've got all the information when I did the follow-up super Kay's just asking can you go back to the itinerary slides uh I 
I can. I don't know if we've got time now, but I'll certainly there's I've literally put a couple on there. So uh, do you want me to re share my screen and go through that again? Yeah, just go back to the itinerary slide. Just so yeah, so we've got absolutely that. loads. And I, I literally only put a couple on there because uh, I was conscious of, of time and the fact that there are so many. So, you know, you've got three days, five days. We, we can tailor make. I had someone recently coming for uh, 20 days, something for 15 days. So, um, and when you see, uh, when we're, the programme will be live with Major, for example, there will be um, some guidelines suggested, but then you will get people that will come and go, yeah, that's great, but actually we really want to do um, X, Y, Z ourselves as well. So, um, yeah, yeah. Gander, I haven't got that side on there because I showed the fam trip. <laughs> um, and just coming down here again. So lots more. And our website has a heap as well. So I will send some more on those afterwards. So it's just 10 days, five days, but you know, really depends. And there are some people that really want to do that kind of intrepid safari plus beach. Um, you know, some people want to go and do something quite niche like bird watching. Um, you know, some people want to do things like volunteering, um, community impact. impact. Um, you know, there's, um, we met with a, an orphanage and, and they came uh, into one of the lodges we, that we were at. In fact, actually two different experiences with schools locally. They came in, they sang to us. It was absolutely, it was so moving. So that last um, picture with the rainbow, this one here, literally um, this was just a beautiful lodge. And this is just a two second kind of reel where we had, you know, it's a five star lodge um, right next to um, the, um, the gorilla trekking that we did. So literally uh, we'd just come off the trekking earlier that day. There were two rainbows there. Um, I had treated myself uh, to a, a massage, which was lovely. And then the children had come from a local school to sing to us. We saw their arts and crafts. Um, so that's in Nikaringu Mountain Gorilla Lodge, which is next to a Bwindi Impenetrable Forest. So this, this is somewhere that we work with, but we work with other you know, properties too. But this was just a, a moment of two rainbows, the most beautiful uh, lodge that you don't see in this. You just you know, you just get a glimpse, but this is me coming out of having a massage, feeling really relaxed and then hearing these like children sing. And it was just incredible. Um, so yeah, itineraries, we, we have set itineraries, but we can also kind of, you know, we can go and be a bit more kind of tailor-made depending on what someone wants to do and what their passion is as well. You know, and you can do a lot of adventurous, you can do kayaking, cycling, you can do uh, obviously walking, you can do mountain climbing, you can do, I'd uh, say cycling. Anyway, lots and lots of uh, adventurous um, itineraries too. Um, question here from Celine about the cost of the gorilla, gorilla visit. I know you mentioned fifteen hundred dollars. Um, that, that's for the I presume the license. Yeah, that was for Rwanda. So this one was going to be about eight hundred to a thousand for um, for windy and penetrable forest. So that might depend on where you are. Um, certainly, um, we don't at the moment in Zanzibar know um who knows oh sorry you're asking answering oh, questions yeah, sorry sorry I missed that then I, th I thought it I thought it said Zambia I didn't miss that um I will get back to you with all of the options that we have for Zanzibar I can actually include that into my uh my follow-up slides super thank you very much um another question is it recommended to overnight one or two nights prior and after the tours um, I think so yes um, depending on where you go, how much time you've got, um, I think, you know, coming in just because some of the, when you're traveling between, it can take longer, but then, you know, we get a, we get a sense also, you know, depending if you're coming into Entebbe, what time flights, some people are coming direct, some are coming via Istanbul, if it's with Turkish Airlines, who, wherever it might be. So um, it is quite nice to do a little bit of that if you can afford to do it uh, time-wise. Yeah, super. Thank you very much. Okay, so if everybody can now go to chat. Make sure that your drop down says everyone. We're going to ask you some questions. So just as a reminder, every single person on the webinar gets a prize draw entry. Um, those that answer fastest finger first with the correct answer will get 10 entries. I'll put you all into a spin to win and I will announce the winners tomorrow. So, Melanie, do you want to go first? Uh, yeah, mine's super easy. <laughs> um, and because I showed videos of uh, Uganda there, then I'm going to base it on that. So what is Uganda also known as? Oh, well, there you are. <laughs> I, guess, I guess that's the Pearl of Africa then. Well, I think it might be, yes. <laughs> Super. Julie. 
So which river are the boating activities taking place from the Victoria Falls River Lodge? Here we go. Okay, uh, Zambezi, is that the correct one? That's correct. Does it have to be spelt correctly? I was going to ask that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it looks as though the first reply was spelt correctly. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, super. So, Denise? All right. So, last question for uh, Visit Rwanda. Um, this is the first time I've seen the presentation today. So, during the presentation, I wrote the question down myself. So, the first presentation you saw with Katie that, that's not here today, talking about the gorillas. How many permits are issued per day to see the gorillas? Hey, hey. <laughs> yep, it is of course 96. So the first person was Bonnie. Bonnie, and Bill. super. Okay, a big thank you to everybody for joining us today. I hope you've learned a lot. It was certainly a very, very interesting webinar, certainly one of my favourites, um, Discovering Africa. Uh, thank you to Julie, Melanie, um, for the amazing presentations and also to Katie. Uh, any questions you've got, I will drop an email with the full recording and the contact details so you can write to them and uh, with your heart's content, get some bookings in. Um, so any help you need, they're there for you. Uh, thank you, ladies, much, much appreciated. Thank you Very so much. much. Thanks everyone for Thanks joining. Thanks everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.